Almighty God. We just give you thanks. We just give you praise, Almighty God. That you have kept us, Lord. You have kept us to see another Christmas morning. Hallelujah. Oh God, we glory in your presence this morning, Almighty God. Father God, we are nothing of our own. But Lord, we learn to trust in you, Jesus. Through the trials and temptation, Almighty God. Oh God, when you when you when your presence is with us, Almighty God. There's nothing that we cannot do, Almighty God. So, Father God, strengthen us as we go, Father God. Teach us your word, Almighty God. May we hide your words in our hearts, Almighty God, that we might not sin against you. Mighty God, your words are powerful. They're sharp, Almighty God. They're quicker than any two-edged sword this morning. So, Mighty God, Help us to walk with you, Jesus. Help us to go with you, Father God. Let your words be on our heart this morning, Almighty God. And may we press on this morning, Almighty God. Oh my God, like Paul, we can say, Oh, we have finished it. We have fought a good fight. Yes. We have finished the course. And he has laid up for us a crown of righteousness, oh, which, the, which the Lord shall give us at that day. And not unto us only, but unto all those who have kept the faith. So, Father God, we ask you to strengthen us. Oh God, give us, give us understanding in your words, Almighty God. Give us wisdom, Father God. Teach us your word because we cannot live without it, oh God. Mighty God, help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Despite all what is happening in our beautiful island, Almighty God, we can trust you, Almighty God. There is no power on earth that is greater than your power this morning. So let us look to you this morning, Jesus. And it is this season, oh God, as we celebrate your birthday today, Lord Jesus. Let us remember, Lord God, the reason for the season. It's because you came to earth, Lord Jesus. You didn't leave your home, Lord Jesus, and your kingly throne. But there was for no place on earth for you. But this morning we are saying, come into our hearts. There is room in our hearts for you this morning, Jesus. Oh God, as we open our hearts this morning, fill us with your love, Almighty God. May you unite us, Father God. Strengthen us as we go along. Almighty God, touch everyone this morning. May your Holy Spirit come down in this place this morning, Almighty God. Fill us with your power this morning. Let us, let us, Lord, trust in you this morning. Let us go on, Lord. Let us press on, mighty God. For we don't know the day nor the hour, Lord, when you will put in your appearance. Or you will call us home to be with you in glory, Lord. So let us prepare our hearts this morning. Oh God Almighty, strengthen, strengthen us this morning. Oh God, breathe on us breath of life this morning. Fill us with life and you this morning, Jesus. Until this earthly part of ours glow with your fire divine this morning. Oh Holy Spirit, come down in this place this morning. Fill us divine master. Let me feel your presence, Almighty God. Touch every seed this morning, Almighty God. Oh God, who is going to bring your word this morning, oh God. Let it come with clarity this morning, God, that we may understand, Almighty God, and do your will, Almighty God. Lord, those who are coming, Lord, hasten their steps, Almighty God. We pray for love this morning as we celebrate your birthday today, God. Give us strength, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we praise the Lord this morning? This is me. You are going to continue to stand. Amen. We are going to sing this song. They curl long time ago in Bethlehem. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the holy Bible says. Mary for child Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Because 
because of Christmas Day. Did we get that right? Yes. Come on, bro. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible says, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on a Christmas day. from verse 18 to verse 25. Good morning, brothers. Good morning, brothers. Yes. Could we stand for the scripture reading, please? When you have found Matthew chapter 1, verse 18, please say, Hallelujah. 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 Everybody has Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. Eighteen to twenty-five system. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example or a public disgrace that we would have said in our terms, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the prophet, uh, spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, 
Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall, shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not, till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. And we shout that name again. Jesus. One more time. Jesus. Last time. Jesus. Without him we cannot live, and without him we dare not die. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, you may be seated. At this time, Deacon Emmons will come to give the morning's welcome. Merry Christmas, everybody. Good morning to you all. Is there someone visiting us for the very first time? Please stand and make yourself. Okay, and this is second row our members of the prayer family. Welcome to you all. It's a bad one if I can see you waving. Welcome. celebrating a birthday today? Any birthday boy or girl? Yes, for the rooms? I celebrate my Friday, 22nd. 22nd. Okay. Hope you have a very good birthday. I hope you live to see many more birthdays. Any, any anniversary? All right, um, just, just enjoy Christmas and enjoy the rest of this service. I'll be with you. Thanks. Praise the Lord. As we continue, I think at this time it's, it's good for us to stand and just welcome Jesus by singing happy birthday to him. Can we stand together? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday. somebody to say happy birthday. Amen. Amen. Well, whether he was born whenever to today, the fact is that he was born. So it was October and it was December, all these controversies, he was born. Amen. And we still worship him as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Bless his holy name this morning. Hallelujah. Praise his name. At this time, we'll have ministry song by our sister Janet Mills. But this morning, we have some young people 
who are to be presenting on the God Gift Shot Christmas. And our first presenter will be our sister, Shani Christian. After Sister Bills, Shani will come. Praise God. Merry Christmas to you all. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows dim, giving the light to those who long have gone. And God is a wise man on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. Beautiful star. of the gift of gold to be with Jesus. So a gold brick in today's time is worth millions of dollars. In Christ's time, it would have been worth even more. Gold was the metal of kings. In the Bible, gold is often associated with two things, divinity and kingship. Gold represents divinity in many scriptures, such as Psalms 135 verse 15 where it declares, the idols of their nations are silver and gold, made of human hands. It was common that in this time of history, 
to carve their own idols, which they would overlay with gold. God gave Moses instructions to use gold when constructing the Ark of the Covenant as well, as seen in Exodus 25 verse 10. King Nebuchadnezzar created a statue of gold and ordered all people to bow down and worship it. Daniel 3 verse 10. Therefore, the gift of gold from the wise man signified the deity of Christ. Thomas had no choice but to declare, my Lord and my God. John 20 verse 28. After placing his fingers in the wounds of the rhetoric, of the resurrected Christ. Even the vilest, unrepentant sinner will have no choice but to one day honor Christ as Lord, as seen in the scripture, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and king and things in heaven and things in earth and the things on the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, verse 10 to 11. Not only did gold represent Christ's deity, it also represented his kingship. Gold is often associated with kingship and ruling authority in scriptures. So when the queen of Sheba visited King Solomon, she gave him 120 talents of gold and a very great quantity of spices and precious stones as seen in 1 Kings 10 verse 10. Psalms 72 verse 15 declares, And he shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba. Prayer also has, shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. King David amassed a large amount of gold as he did his son Solomon. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 666 talents of gold as seen in 1 Kings 10 verse 14. Jesus is the king of the universe. He is king of kings and lord of lords. His reign is eternal and his kingdom will not have an end. The book of Revelation boldly declares that when Christ returns, he will have the following name written on his thigh. King of kings and Lord of lords. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name person, kings of kings and Lord of lords, as seen in Revelation 19, verse 16. In essence, the gift of gold from the wise man was a symbolic prophecy of the life of Jesus Christ. After all, the giver of gold was a wise man, and all wisdom comes from God. Thank you, Mr. Shemi. At this time, we will stand and sing the Christmas carol. I call him Lord. Can we stand? Let's take it, Stanley. Master, redeem. 